So Hogwarts Legacy has to be the most one and done game I've ever played. This game fell off so hard it is unreal and today we get into it all. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So before I release Hogwarts Legacy, the hype around it, it shook the world. Some good ways, some bad ways. At the end of the day, it shook the world. Sold millions upon millions of copies. People really enjoyed the game, myself included. But people, this was literally a couple of months back. Now, the game has just fell off the edge of the earth. And no, I'm not a flat earther. But yeah, this game has just completely vanished. Nobody's talking about it no more. And the reason being is because the way this game's foundations are built. Hogwarts Legacy is by far the most one and done game I've ever played in my life. Once you complete this game, there's absolutely zero replayability. There's no end game whatsoever, which is something myself and many other people was hoping this game would offer. Yes, people will say the replayability comes from you creating multiple wizards and witches and running the story over and over, choosing and representing a different house. But no, that gets boring for the average gamer. That first wizard we've built, we want to evolve that wizard, make him all so powerful and continue reaping havoc with said wizard. I don't like what it can do in Elden Ring, but let's not compare the two because it's like chalk and cheese here. But yeah, Hogwarts Legacy is by far the most one and done game I've ever played. And this is because the way the game is just made. The foundation this game is built upon by Porkies, by Warner Brothers, it's made to be a one and done. For instance, if you haven't played it, XP and the leveling system in this game is tied to your challenges. Once those challenges are completed, you earn no more XP within this game. You can't just farm one boss, earn a ton of XP, do this over and over and, and reach max rank. That isn't the way this game is built. You have to complete those challenges to reach that max level, which isn't a bad thing. Porkies probably added this into the game thinking it was a smart move. It would cut a lot of corners, cut out a lot of the shortcuts many, many gamers like to take to reach that end game power straight away. And it worked, it really did. But what they've done is they've simplified it so much that it does make it absolutely pointless to continue playing once you reach that top level, which is fine. I actually believe sitting here that what Warner Bros have done here is just tested the waters with a franchise to come. And this is proven with now the rumors of a TV series that might follow. It's also confirmation as to why there's no confirmed DLC in the works for Hogwarts Legacy, which isn't a bad thing either in my opinion. I would say cut the DLCs, forget about them whatsoever and make a Hogwarts a Legacy 2. Whether that's in 3 to 5 years, fair enough. Because all a DLC will do is bring people back for a week and then the game will die off again. Yes, it's a great attempt at a quick cash grab and it will work. But it isn't in reality what most people want. And I can tell after playing games for my entire life, after covering them for almost 20 years, these quick instances of DLC drops don't revive a game unless they change the foundations. But once most people have already moved on, they've moved on for good. A Hogwarts Legacy 2 will completely change that. But yes, Hogwarts Legacy, in my opinion, fell off so fast. It was unreal. I was just sitting here going through my older videos and just remembering Hogwarts Legacy. It feels to me like I covered Hogwarts Legacy the way it impacted my channel years ago. To think it was literally a couple of months back. And although I've still got a couple of Hogwarts Legacy videos to come, for people playing on the Switch, for people playing on the old gen consoles like the Xbox One and the PS4, it still feels like a lifetime ago that this game was being covered by many, many content creators. Content creators have rinsed this game and now they've moved on to other games, which is just the way it works these days, unfortunately. But yeah, Porky Games did themselves no favors, zero favors, creating the game the way they did. But I do think it was all a plan from the very start. And with the amount of things cut from the game to get it ready for release, I believe for them creating the best story-driven Harry Potter RPG they could, even if it is a one and done, was the most important thing, which you would have to congratulate them on because that's exactly what they achieved. If you want to feel like the ultimate wizard, if you want to be a part of that Harry Potter universe, feel involved in it, Hogwarts Legacy definitely achieves that. But in regards to replayability, longevity, that end game is absolutely zero here. 
And that is why the game has fell off. There's no two which ways about it. Again, the game is the most one and done I have ever seen. But yes, guys, I thought I'd bring you guys a quick video on my thoughts on Hogwarts Legacy as it stands right now. And though I deeply enjoyed it, sitting here, looking back, it feels like a lifetime ago this game was being released. <laughs> even though it ain't even released on all platforms yet. As crazy as that sounds. Guys, tell me your thoughts on Hogwarts Legacy. Did you enjoy it while it lasted? Let me know. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Hogwarts, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.